Hello, everybody. It is Andrew from MAO Magic, and I'm here with the Canary, the smart alarm uh, that's for everyone, basically. Uh, this was a Indiegogo campaign that was launched a little while ago. They finally shipped to all their backers and are starting to take orders on their website, canary.is. It retails for, I believe, $249. So it retails for, but it has there is a subscri subscription model that you can sign up to, but it is free uh, for all the basic features and for all the main stuff. So there is no like monitored monthly charge that you would have with many other security systems. But this doesn't tie into anything else, so it doesn't like tie into like your doors, so, like if a window is broken or something like that. It can't really alert you. It basically alerts you based on uh, motion essentially, or if someone moves this, or if there's temperature in your house, it has a lot of different f gauges and sensors inside of it uh, that we're going to be going over in a minute. So if we open this up, I was actually impressed initially by the build quality. Not, not that I expected it to be bad, but I was very surprised because you can't really tell how, the, first off, the size, you can't tell the size um, when you're really looking at it online, nor can you tell the build quality of it. And I was super impressed. It's actually much smaller than I had initially thought. It's It fits much more succinctly on my bookshelf and stuff like that. It doesn't look very, uh, it doesn't draw attention to itself, which is, I believe, the goal. It fits in very nice, and it's actually made from, it's an analyzed, anodized aluminum, you know, like most Apple products. I have the black model here, but they do have a few other available in white and silver, if that's more your style. You have few cables, you have a flat USB cable, you have a flat audio cable, and then the charger brick, not charger, sorry, just like, you know, power brick that has to be plugged in all the time. There's no battery involved in this. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the actual canary itself before getting into the whole software side of things. So there it is. It's very simple. It's supposed to kind of just blend in on your bookshelf, you know, similar to a router or something else that you would already have. Um, it doesn't look as much like a camera, like something like the like the drop cam does or the eyes on. It's a little bit more subtle. It has a Ethernet port if you want to plug it in directly to your uh, internet, your router, as well as the audio port for that yellow audio cable we saw, and then just a mini or sorry, a micro USB to plug into the wall so that it has power and can do things for you. There are ports along the top as well as on the bottom. Um, these are going to allow for a few different things such as uh, your air quality um, as well as temperature as well as a speaker that it has inside. It's got a pretty loud speaker, I think like 90 decibels uh, speaker inside so that you can alert the siren if someone is in your apartment or house. You can send that off and frighten them away like a cat. Um, there's the front there. You can see a few more sensor sensors. It can tell like the light, so it can turn on the like the night vision mode, as well as the nice, super nice, like 170 degree lens on the top. The bottom here is actually the speaker and the light sensor. The light is going to, not a light sensor, but light itself. It's going to light up the bottom to show you the status of the camera. It's super subtle and it's not going to like glare in your eyes like a G drive hard drive will. So it's very nice and subtle and gives you good feedback on how your system's doing. The block I'm very happy with. I love when a company includes a custom USB brick like for, for plugging into the wall. I hate when they just choose like a stock one or a weird cord. This is like, it's, you know, you can tell it's like in personalized for them, even if it's fairly stock and nothing special about it. It's nice that they went through and you actually, oh, this goes to my canary. I don't have to wonder what this goes to. It is slightly smaller than the Apple, uh, whatever, 14 watt power adapter for the iPad. So a little bit smaller than that power brick, but that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and set it up and see how it works. So just plug in the micro USB cable. That's really the, the, the basis of setting it up initially. And initially, oh, sorry, I'm going to use the word initially 80 times. Uh, when I set mine up, I actually had quite a few issues. No, well, not quite a few issues. One issue that was just rather persistent. Um, but you're going to create your account, accept it. You're going to add in your information and a photo if you'd like. And then you're going to add a device. It's going to want to know where its location is. So 
it can kind of keep track of that for you. Then you're going to plug it in and make sure that the light on the bottom actually lights up. So you can see I am, okay, my yellow light is there. It's a little bit hard to tell when it's so bright out. Then you're gonna choose how it's gonna to connect to the internet, Wi-Fi or ethernet. So Wi-Fi, we're gonna choose our network, put in our password, and we're gonna use this cable to transfer the data to the device. And there's been a lot of different ways people have done this. Lockatron uses like the blink up system. Um, I don't like this one. It's weird and it did not work very well for me. So basically you plug the cable in you know, from your, from the canary to your phone, turn the volume all the way up, allow it to access the microphone so it can kind of talk to itself. Then it establishes the secure connection and syncs over. And it kind of gives you like a tutorial as this is happening. But this took a really long time and failed like three times when I was initially setting this up. So it's, it's very easy to do, but it didn't work right the first time. So I had a little bit of an issue with that I know it when I cut it together in this video it looks really nice but I don't want to have you sitting here for 20 minutes while I'm trying to get this to work um, but know that I did have issues with it eventually it did work though without having to contact support I just kind of kept restarting it and it eventually worked fine like completely quit the app started through again and I was happy um, once it's connected online it's going to continue to get set up and update itself which also failed once or twice eventually it did work so the reason you need to know where your canary is is so it can tell if you are home or not. So like here I am on the bottom as well as um, my second roommate here. And this allows it to know if I'm home to disarm itself. So it doesn't send me notifications saying, hey, there's motion, there's activity detected, activity detected. So it should arm when you leave and disarm when you arrive home, which means everyone will have to have the canary app registered on their, their device for this to work correctly. You can also watch live. You can see the current temperature in your apartment, the air quality. So if we take a look, you can see on the bottom here, it is in disarmed mode because I am home. You can see the home icon next to my photo. You can see the current temperature, humidity, uh, quality of the air. On the top, you can open up the menu to view the settings as well as add another canary. So if you have a larger house, you wanna monitor two spots, you'll need two canaries um, or more. I don't know how big of a house you have, none of my business. Um, and you can hit watch live and watch what's happening on your camera live. So what would normally happen is you would get an alert saying there is activities been detected at your house. You can open it up, you can see the event as well as watch live or watch the pre-recorded. You can watch when it detects and when it records. So this was recording when there's motion and then it gives you options. You can make an emergency call or you can sound the siren, ideally to scare them away. You cannot like talk through the canary. So you can't like talk to your phone and have your voice come out on the other end. Um, the video quality is actually very good. I was very happy with the video quality. Um, I Some of the time the lag times are a little bit small, but my biggest problems that I've had was that it false alarms. Even when I was home, it's like activity detected, activity detected, but it knew that I was home or my roommate, which is just super frustrating. It seemed to always do this and it still does, even with the updates that they've been getting. It has gotten a lot better since launch, but this is by no means perfect. It seems a bit high for 250 when you can get a drop cam that seems to work a lot better and it can work with your Nest. Overall, I really actually like the Canary, but it seems to need a little bit more update for it to be worth it. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.